Hey guys, it's Brandon here, and I'm not sure if this is going to be a video or not, but I figured I'd record while I'm in the process of doing it. So right now I'm running a Mishimoto intercooler in a or a Mishimoto radiator and a Mishimoto intercooler, um, which mounts to this bracket here. So uh, I plan on running a Chase Bay's um, intercooler or radiator that's tucked, so it'll fit inside these braces uh, in between the front clip here. So I just wanted to point out that to run these, you have to cut out the hood latch section. So you're gonna need to run um, either the hood latch somewhere else, which I think will be very difficult to do, or uh, hood clips, which is much easier because you can just mount them up to these factory locations here and just run them there. And then if you're worried about locking the hood, um, you could always get the ones that have locks on them. So I just wanted to mention that to run that, because I made a little uh, wooden um, template there because they've been out of stock since September. My order's been been going and it's, uh, I'm recording this in February. It's like February 4th right now, um, 2025. And I ordered it back in like September, like I think 18th of 2024. And right now the closest date is uh, April 2025 is when they think they might have them. So I had to make up that little wooden template there. Um, fits inside here. And then I got the intercooler mounted here. So I think what I'm gonna do is take some measurements for you guys to know uh, if you wanna make a bar like this to mount the intercooler on. Um, you know, about where everything can go that'll still clear. And then the, for now, the mission motor radiator will stay. Um, and I do wanna mention that like I said, you have to cut out the hood latch area there. So this whole piece comes around like this. You just make that uh, square. Um, and then there's a bottom bar here that you have to cut out, which I have on the ground right there, um, to run this uh, radiator, which isn't a big deal. Um, none of this is structural structural in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, you know, staying away from the frame rail, I'm gonna actually cut all of this out up to probably around in here somewhere on both sides. Um, that way I can run extensions off of the intercooler up into the bottom of the turbo down there and then into where I want to run my um, charge pipe. So I'm going to hack away at this and then if I think this can become a video, I'll start recording more parts. Um, if not, oh well. So guys, here's a clip showing the intercooler on. Um, here's those pieces I cut out. This way I can run a tube around up to the turbo and up to the throttle up here. Um, and here's the specs for where these bolt placements go. Um, it does go right in the middle of the bumper. I checked so it looks nice. Um, off of the wall here, it's five and about five eighths um, on this side same thing five and five eighths ish and then to the middle one here it's about 13 and a half and then off of the um, front barrier here It's one and a quarter inches where my bolt holes are at one and seven eighths. And then on the passenger side, it is about one and an eighth where my bolt holes are at one and three quarters. All right, so here's my charge pipe setup. Um, this here is for the blow off valve. Um, I have a T all uh, blow off valve. The um, air intake temp temp temperature bung um, sitting there. This um, transitions from a 45 degree down to another 45 degree um, bootlegged into another 45 degree here. Um, so how this would work on here is it comes off of the throttle body into a 135 degree turn. It would come down here and the blow off valve would sit here. Come down through there and down into this pipe here, that's also 135 degree. 
through the intercooler. On this side here, I have another 135 degree connecting into this charge pipe, which goes to the turbo there through a V-band. So here is the um, charge pipe with the blow off valve and the um, intake air temperature sensor installed. And next I'll go over the measurements for these pipes so you guys have an idea of what you're getting into if you copy this design. All right, so this here is a 135 degree um, rubber hose or rubber silicone four ply hose I found on Amazon. Um, I'll have a link for these in the description. This one is cut slightly. Um, there's only about an inch and a half before it starts the bend when normally there is about three to three and a half inches. All right, so next going on to this, this is a 45 degree aluminum pipe that's been cut to the bend point. There's about four inches from the bend point. There's about a four and a half inches. Then it's bootlegged into a full length um, 45 degree bend um, put together here and then plated around the side. Uh, the welds aren't that good. I haven't been doing aluminum that long. Um, so this in there would be about five inches to the bend. And then this is a full piece that's about five and a half. And then coming down here to connect into the intercooler, this is a full 135 degree silicone uh, four ply coupler that has not been modified. All right, so this is my other charge pipe. This goes from the turbo to the intercooler. Um, on Amazon, you can get these uh, V-band um, flanges that go and ma made up to the whole set turbos. So I picked one of those up. And then this is a 45 degree that's been cut. And then another 45 degree that's been cut. Um, so this can V-band right up to the turbo there. And then it comes out here and there's a 135 degree silicone coupler that goes from this charge pipe to the intercooler there. All right, guys. So I figured I'd go over the overview now of the, uh, the Mishimoto intercooler and the charge and the boost pipe setup. So on the bumper I have now, it's uh, the metal bumper. Um, I just cut out the hole there so you can see the full Mishimoto logo. I thought that looked pretty neat. On the sides here, you can see I have the 135 degree silicone couplings going around to each side. And then in there you can see I got the, um, the aluminum coming up and that comes right down to the bottom of the hole set with a V-band there and I have everything welded up. Here's how it looks down there. It's not touching this pipe down here. There's tons of room there. So, and it's tucked up real nice and close to the chassis. Um, it's barely missing it, so there's like not a ton of room, but it doesn't collide with it and it doesn't vibrate or anything, so I'm really happy with that. And then on this side, I went through and I have a modified 135 degree pipe. I cut a little bit off of this. It's supposed to be a little bit longer. Then the blow-off valve and the air intake temperature sensor um, weld it in there and then the blow off valve to the manifold there. And then that tucks down around the alternator, right down into there around the chassis. Again, really close, but it doesn't have any vibrations or rubbing or anything. And then that pipe here just connects into this 135 degree pipe into the intercooler. So if you guys have any questions about any of that or um, need to know any measurements, if I can't remember if they're in this video or not, uh, this is a couple months after I recorded all that. Um, just let me know and thank you for watching.